This is, as it says, a sequel to the first one. I put off watching Deadpool 2 for a long time. I honestly don't know why at this point. I think maybe it was just fear of not being as good as the first one. That and a combination of the fact that everybody I know has already seen it and I didn't really want to be behind. So, I don't know. Deadpool doesn't really need much of an introduction. I mean, everybody at this point kind of knows who Deadpool is. They know Ryan Reynolds as the Deadpool. And I feel like it'd be a little bit of a cop-out if I just kind of went on and on about how amazing Deadpool is. Or Deadpool 2. I, so, I mean, yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do anyway. Fuck it. Deadpool 2 starts out with Ryan Reynolds playing Deadpool, playing Ryan Reynolds, playing Deadpool, or something like that. I'm not really sure at this point. But anyway, it starts out with Deadpool going around the world or the city or the country or whatever, stopping bad guys. He's really good at it, he's really murdery about it, and he's very fourth wall breaking about it. Everything you kind of want out of a Deadpool. And then he goes home and he celebrates with his hot girlfriend who he loves very much and then she fucking dies. I don't think it's a spoiler. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not. I mean, it might, it might be, but it's something you learn within like the first five minutes of this movie and you can't talk about the movie and give an actual review without saying that his girlfriend dies and this is basically a revenge movie. But I guess it also wouldn't be entirely just a revenge movie. Deadpool thinks that he can get to his girlfriend uh, by being a better person, that she wants him to be a better person. So when he gets incarcerated and locked in with this kid with superpowers, then he takes it upon himself to protect this kid. What he has to protect this kid from, though, is Cable, played by Josh Brolin, which is the only really new aspect of this movie, but it is a perfect and welcoming new aspect to this movie. The tit-for-tat between Deadpool and Cable, or Ryan Reynolds and Josh Brolin, is great. They play off each other very well. Ryan Reynolds with his quippy, Deadpool-like attitude, and Josh Brolin, the very serious nature, and is not fucking around getting tired of this bullshit type attitude. And it goes together so well, and I'm so happy they did it. But anyway, Cable comes back from the future thinking that he needs to kill this kid. Um, one second. His name is Russell, and he's played by Julian Dennison. I've never seen him or anything else. I don't know if he's in anything else. I mean, he's not bad. He's not like the central focus of this, but for a child actor in a big budget movie that I've never heard of, he nails it pretty well. So Cable comes back in time to kill this kid and Deadpool takes it upon himself to protect him with his life. And I do mean his life because I think he dies like a lot of times in this. Like technically he would have died a lot of times in this. Weirdly enough actually, now that I think about it, there's about two or three times in this movie that um, I got choked up with emotion, which is not something I ever thought would happen with a Deadpool movie. But also until about halfway through, I was still very weary about it, especially because of the fact that although I, it was all funny, everything that was happening was enjoyable, I wasn't laughing as much until about halfway through. Now, it is a hilarious movie, and I do like it just as much as the first one. I can't put my finger on why I didn't laugh as much, maybe because it was more building than anything, but I mean, that's something. It was there. One thing I would have to say, though, is I still love TJ Miller in this. A lot of people have a lot of uh, hatred and bad blood towards TJ, and I understand, but me personally, I can separate the art from the artist, and I think it's a, he's a still absolutely hilarious. What you gotta do though, is you gotta not take my fucking word for it. You gotta go out, you gotta watch this right now, cause don't be like me and miss out any longer. See it, laugh your ass off, enjoy it, and have mixed and confusing emotions by the things that this movie does to you. So thank you for watching. Oh, shit, right. Um, uh, 8.7. Sure, why not? 8.7 out of 10. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other reviews.